But that does not mean we are prepared to push this movement forward now. No, maybe it's just me, but I hope that doesn't mean I have to give up my occasional Instagram rant about how much I miss Barack Obama. Jumping off of that, I was actually watching Letterman's interview with Obama on Netflix the other day, which I highly recommend if you haven't gotten the chance. And it definitely made me realize how much I miss him. But more relevantly, it reminded me how polarizing American politics are. I guess this wasn't an earth-shaking revelation. In fact, it might be a little bit obvious considering our government is literally shut down right now. But I think we forget how true it is in our own lives. Um, social media makes it entirely too easy to retreat into our own little bubble where we only hear viewpoints that reflect our own. Considering myself, I'm realizing, I'm realizing that I surround myself with people who agree with me. And sometimes this is necessary. Like, looking out at this crowd, I just feel so energized by being surrounded by this crowd. Well, that is the world, baby. Teach your Maya. And it, it's, it's natural that we befriend people with common interests, common values. But this can also be dangerous. Teach your Maya. I mean... Sure, it's not like nuclear war is imminent if I get into a Twitter feud. But doing my best to avoid hyperbole, the future of our country is dependent on our ability to cooperate. Yes. And we see that now more than ever. So with She Strong, my goal is to really create a place where everyone can come to the table. A place where young women are enabled to bring their communities and the women in those communities together at a time where it's crucial. Yes. All right. Because right now, young women, young voices need to be heard more than ever. We need to be united. We need to band together and fight for a future that promises justice for us all. Yes. Oh. Speak, girl. Because women's rights aren't blue and red, and human rights should not be considered a partisan issue. Yeah. Oh. lately that we women tend to isolate ourselves from one another. We promote separation even though we need each other. We should be there to build each other up rather than tear each other down. And I believe that we as a community have the ability to shift towards that necessary unification. And us being here today is proof. We may not be able to cast our ballots. But we have the opportunity to work for the future we want through the She Strong Summit and through this women's rights movement, advocating for all women through the voices of our generation. We have the opportunity to be active in this moment. Because for the longest time, we have had the conversations. We have discussed the issues, 